Okay, so um, we have the operating budget on our right, as we can all see. Um, enterprise is not, okay, thank you. That's good. Perfect, perfect. Um, you're getting good at this, Brian, I wanna tell you. Um, the longer we do it, the better we get. <laughs> that's, it's all about practice, 10,000 hours. I'm not hoping we get too good at it. No. Okay, um, so I think to approach this, um, let's look at those. Um, line items that um, that have um, well may want to want to just general government see if there's yeah. any questions yeah I think that's yeah. probably the best way I don't think we're gonna beat this thing down so let's just like look at general government let's take them by and does anyone, are there any questions? Let's, let's just take a, take a minute to look at it and then we'll see if we have a discussion, have any issues. So um, here we go. Okay. And you do have the, you do have the detailed budgets that were sent with the email last night. Hey, Bob's here. Bob Feidenkavitz? Coming. I just let him in. Oh, my goodness. Let me know when you show. Here he comes. Come from where? I'm not quite sure, but um, is this Bob Feidenkavitz? It is. Then I'm going to say you are present at the meeting and did you have an opportunity to read the minutes from the last meeting yeah do you accept them i do okay very good so right now we are looking at um just looking over this particular portion of the budget to see if we are in full agreement or if there are any issues or there are things that need to be discussed um There's nothing jumping out at me. I'm fine with it. I've no. got no problems. I'm good with uh, it. Just uh, one question, just so if this should come up that we have discussed it. Town clerk increased to seven thousand dollars. Why did that happen again? Um, that was a salary adjustment voted by the personnel committee and select board. Okay. Town accountant, same thing. That's a regional assessment from FERCOG. Okay, and. Um, Tax takings, that's that's not the actual taking of taxes. That must be for an individual. There must be a, a, sal a, sal a salary, right? No. Oh, no that, that pays for our legal expenses for the for okay. uh, pursuing unpaid taxes. And, oh, I got you. Oh, okay. Um, we're at a spot paying. now where, where some of them are, are later on in the process, so the costs are going to be a little bit more. I think okay. we're actually close to $100,000 in Back, uh, back tax collections this fiscal year. That's terrific. That's terrific. Worth, worth every penny again. Okay. Um, would anyone like to comment on this particular portion? We're going to vote on each section, Paul? I think we should. I make a motion we accept it. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Um, let's just, as we move forward, I will also say any objections. If there are no objections, Brian, does that suffice for a roll call on each vote? Um, we could just do, let's just do one official roll call vote at the end. Okay, good. Okay. All right, we've got cultural recreation services. <clears throat> and this year um, in our operating budget, we have an increase of four, almost 5% with $6,000 tab coming mainly from the South County Senior Center. Um, from which we've been promised a better accounting next time. 
over. Yeah, but they're closed. Over, yeah, but they're, they're closed. closed. Again. And they're yeah, we'll closed. Give, we'll give you an accurate one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So are they still spending money? They're still paying. Um, yeah, the senior, the senior center is currently running a meal program. Okay. Yeah. Um, so they're still providing pickup meals, and they do, they do over Before 100 that. a day. There's absolutely no oversight on this group. None. No, no. Everybody's scared of them because it's an emotional thing, and nobody wants to push the seniors around, and I can't blame them. But you're continually, it looks like we're being hoodwinked here. And, and that's a very uncomfortable feeling. I personally have no confidence in this budget. And if, if, yeah, I, was king, nothing, if I was king for a day, I, I'd have there. an audit on these guys. But I'm not, so. Any thoughts? There isn't anything going on over there. We're one of three towns, too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Um, if I'm not mistaken... And Brian, you can you can correct me on this, but if we go back to 2019, I think that budget was about ten thousand dollars. I think. I don't know, but it yeah, seems to yeah. me like it has jumped dramatically over time. Okay. Yeah, I'd, have um, to, I'd have to look. Fine. On, the, <clears throat> on the same note, Paul, uh, Tritown Beach is not going to open this year. Right. Was in the, was in the paper. Right. Uh, are they still going to spend the fifty three ninety six? I what I read in the paper said that they would be doing repairs, but that fifty three ninety six also includes salaries. Salaries. Exactly. Brian, right? That's what I asked at the last meeting. Are they going to give it back? Mm -hmm. Well, I think um, the answer is go. Or even some of it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they're not going to have lifeguards. No. Uh, um, I know they're planning on doing the. Um, I know they're planning on doing continuing maintenance with the weed problem. I think they need to find a long-term solution to that, other than just yeah, scooping out weeds. Um, but they are planning on having some staff there just not be open to the public to do the, the maintenance work. Well, I would, I would, I would throw this out that we remove all salaries that are for lifeguards from that budget. Well, are they paying the lifeguards to do some of the maintenance work? Yeah. Come on. No, no way. That's, I, I, oh. that's beneath them. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure that can't answer that right now, but this is what I do know. This is the time where um, push comes to shove. And unless they want to come forth and give good reason why they need to keep that, those monies in that budget, they had that, had plenty of opportunity to do that. They have not. So my feeling is that all salaries for lifeguards are yanked because they're not going to have a job. Brian, did we ever get a broken down budget from them? Because I was looking for my book and all I have is a placeholder. Um, in the, the new budgets that were sent out. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah. I mean, so what we, so their total budget was, 23,000, of which Whitley pays 23%. Yep. Um, 16,000 of that is, nope. Yeah, 16,000 of that, almost 17,000 of that is salaries, of which we would pay 23%. So that's like 4,000. Of the 53 or 54. So, um, do we know how much of that is staff and how much is lifeguards? It's 
says, uh, I mean, they break it down lifeguards, senior lifeguards, and gatekeepers. Well, you're not going to need either one of them. Yeah. Well, 25% of that is 4,000, almost four. If we don't take this money from this group, we yeah. might as well just stay home next year because there's no point in having a finance com committee. Um, it, it, as a town resident, I would expect the finance committee to come after this and do the right thing. Yeah, that's the money they're not going to spend. Right. Right. On salaries. Um, unless they can justify it somehow. I mean, and probably uh, now it's not the are, time to be How doing. are they going to do that? They don't have a plan. No. They don't have a plan. Oh. Send weed pullers down there? Um, I don't know. You know, they I mean, the guy we need to talk to is not here. Right. Right. And this warrant has to be finalized. What date? Pretty quick. Um, it needs to be. It. It needs the the board's voting on <coughs> Monday. 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 So. I mean, you can always we can always make adjustments to this in the fall time if we don't. And I yeah. mean, part of this budget is for next spring too, right? Yeah. I mean, this is this would be this would be realistically what July and August, which yeah. are not going to open, and then I, I think they're hoping on opening next next spring summer, whatever, whatever, whenever they open up. So, well, I don't think I don't know that we want to take everything. No, I think we want to take the monies that are associated with salary. Of gatekeepers I, and I agree. lifeguards. I agree for this year, for, for no, this for July, year. August. Right. It's going to be just for this year. I, mm -hmm. I don't know what that number is for July and August, though. Well, here's the other option. Um, level funded. Level funded. Yeah, level funded. I'm a, I'm good with that. That's more than fair, in all honesty. More than fair. It, 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 if if we don't know how much is for this July and August, and how much is for next June, let's say they will have had money for this June that they didn't spend. Very Saturday. good. That doesn't That's carry over, though. Bread. So again, we're gonna get we it back. We're gonna get mm -hmm. it back. Yeah. Yeah. I, that I thought of that too. I, I I'll tell you, we're not going to get any money back. What do you mean? No, but so therefore we don't have to give put any money in. Well, that money doesn't if, roll over. If we okay. well, if the, if we don't get money back for this June, we sh shouldn't give them money for next June. Exactly. Very good. Exactly. Hang yeah, on. The yeah. money for this June, use next June because it's it should be in your bank account. That does it doesn't work that way though. Yes, it does. Why doesn't it? Because 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 our fiscal year twenty money closes out at the end at the end of June. Right. And so this, there, this, so this goes, money's been transferred. To has this money been transferred to them already? No. Which money? The, the money for the June salaries, just for example. Their, their, bu year? their budget, the number that we budgeted last year. Yeah, it's last year. Tritown Beach. Yeah. Has that money been transferred in, in whole to them? No. Okay. So anything that would be attributable to June salary, we can withhold because there were no June salaries. But how does that help us? <clears throat> it puts that money into free cash. We're, we're well, assuming they're going to put it into free cash themselves. No, that they they submit invoices to us and payroll to us. Okay, but if they don't have invoices for those salaries, then we will just be giving our free cash. It will go to our free cash, right? Yep. 
but that's not something that they can use next year, so to speak. Well, that's fine, but as, lo as long as they're, we're not spending money on salaries this year that aren't being spent, oh. that money hasn't been transmitted. Should then, be. Should it be? They bill us, and, and we don't need to make up for it. No, they haven't billed yet. So, right, and bill. presumably they never will because there's nothing to bill. Right. So, I think it's a mute case we're talking about because they're not going to. In other words, if, not if, we, if we approve the full amount that is on here now in the budget whatever was supposed to go to salaries this July and August should come back to us in the form of free cash because it would never have been spent. Right. That's true. But why, why should we approve it if they're closed all summer? Mostly because we don't know what the exact figure is. Because part of this budget is for next spring. Right. Yeah, I understand that, but July and August aren't going to be open. But you, Hi, Paul, can I say something? Sure, jump in. Um, do we have any kind of an estimate uh, or can we come up with a reasonable <laughs> estimate, uh, maybe a conservative one, uh, about how much they won't need to be spending in July and August, dock it by that amount and approve the rest of their budget? It, it seems like if we do that, it sends a message of some sort and it may, it could just be a symbolic amount. It may not, we may not be able to come up with a good estimate. Um, someone had mentioned earlier they were fine with level funding because that's probably less than what they've asked for. Yeah. Um, if we could find a kind of a symbolic amount uh, to dock them that doesn't cripple them for what they might want to be doing in the, you know, in the next season. Um, and, but we also would be sending the message that we, we're we're looking at you, and we really want better accounting and uh, more information, and a little maybe a little more involvement in the budget process and justification of what you're asking. For. So, if if we are to understand this correctly, their budget for any given budget period go is July, August, and then June of the following year. That's how it. That's how it works. So. What I think, and to Joyce's point, what I think would be a reasonable thing to do is to take July and August salary figures that we are responsible for and remove that from the budget. It'll go to free cash. And then if some miraculous thing happens, well, all of a sudden everything's open and we can give it back to them. Right. There are vaccines on every corner and, you know, then we can give Paul, it back to them. Yep. Paul, if I, if I understand correctly, though, it doesn't go to free cash. If we take it off the budget, it, oh, it takes comes, it, off, right. it comes, it comes off, off the, the tax budget. rate and right. the operating budget. Right, right, right. Well, we know we're not talking about $500,000. No, no, we're not talking no. a, a no. big no. amount right. either, but it doesn't go straight to free cash. We can, we can do a, a tax payment. Right. If you're a taxpayer in this town and you read in the Greenfield Recorder that article about that beach being closed, and then you find out that the town financed them at 100% for when they're going to be closed. Yeah. What would you say? So, Brian, is, do they have a request for lifeguard, gatekeeper salaries? Is that broken out? Um. <clears throat> yeah, there's lifeguards, senior lifeguards, and gatekeepers. What if we just if we take out two thirds of that for the two months that they won't be there, leaving in next June? I have no idea what the number is, so I don't know how much we're talking about. But two thirds of that amount sounds reasonable. Lifeguards, senior lifeguards, and gatekeepers. Yep. yep. That's total sixteen four ninety five. So our share is about forty five hundred, 
and two thirds of that is probably 3,000. I think that's probably darn close. And I think it's very justifiable. Very is correct, good word. Next year, though, I don't think we should wait to the 12th hour to be challenging a $5,000 budget. We, we need to <laughs> challenge this long before now. Yeah, well, yeah, no cool. extenuating circumstances this year. Right, things changed. We, we knew about this long before now. We knew yes, we, we, we didn't did. know no, they'd no, be no. closed this summer. We, we didn't did know they'd be closed. It. We did challenge. We were having a regular we hearings. We didn't know it. they'd be closed. We talked about it. Yes. We did, but it, it never got followed up to the point of them responding to give us the numbers. We were canceled. Yeah. I think when we first talk about it, we need to, to mm -hmm. force whoever the chair is of, of that body to come in and you know, see us face to face and, and justify the bu budget long before the 12th hour. That's all but, I'm saying. Skrowski came in to talk to us at a meeting he did. and we went through it and we felt okay with the budget at that time. And then with the closing to not see any change in their budget is, um, you know, it's just, it's, it's so obvious. It's so obvious that um, we would look foolish not to do something about this. Yeah. I'm just saying let's do it before, you know, the 12th hour. Yeah. I, I, I absolutely agree with you. And, um, you know, we probably should have done, talked about this two meetings ago, but, you know, as everyone knows, at a $5,000 budget, it's. All right. So how much, we, how much are you recommending we take off? Take off $2,000. I make a motion we take off $2,000. Anybody second that? What was Fred saying before? The recommendation was to take how much off the salaries? Two thirds. My recommendation was to take two thirds off of the, leave one third of the salaries for lifeguards, et cetera. So what that's would that five, come, what would that go to? That, right. right. So that's 5498, right? Is that our share or is that the total? That's the total. 1264 54. $1,264.54. That's what we remove? If that's what you're going with. I yes, think that's sir. what we're going with. Could you give us that number again? You're removing $1,264.54. Which leaves in that budget? No, it should be more than that. Why is it more than that? Didn't you say 54? 1264, 54. Didn't you say our share was 5,400? 5,396. That's our total budget. $5,498.33 is one third of the salary costs. Okay. Right, so I'm taking 23% of that. Right. Okay, 23%. Yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking, of, I was thinking oh, one shit. third, the one third of the month, the months. I was thinking opposite. Okay. Okay, so let's 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 come up with a number that belongs in on line 36, CZ, and that would be what, Brian? Um, hold on one second. Five three nine five eighty minus one two six four dot five four four one three one. Okay. Right. Twenty six cents. Well, you know, I don't think that breaks their back to tell you the truth, and I think no, it and it's a number we can just we can justify why we came with that exact number. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, and if it turns out that they really are, their feelings are hurt, or they really had a, a way to justify that, they can come back later in the year. And yeah, 
Okay, let's just uh, let's uh, pivot from there to Wait, South. Do we, do we need a motion? Do we need oh. a motion on that? Brian, do we need a motion? I would think so. Um, we're going to vote. Oh. We're going to vote at the end, right? Well, let's, let's vote this one. Let's vote the changes as we make them. You should, yeah, you should vote. You should do roll call votes if you're going to make specific changes. Okay, so that this is a specific change. Do I have a motion to fund the Tritown Beach District at four thousand one hundred thirty-nine dollars and twenty-six cents? Thirty-nine or thirty-one? Brian has thirty-one on the screen. Uh, what's on the screen? Thirty-one. Thirty-one. I I make that motion. I'll second it. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Dan? Aye. Tom? Aye. Bob? Aye. Jim? Aye. Fred? Aye. Paul? Aye. Everybody's on. Okay. So, okay. Um, now, we have, um, let's just have a brief discussion, if we can about the South County Senior Center with a 23% increase in the time of COVID. When everybody else is coming in at zero or making some kind of changes in their programming um, to try to draw back. Um, that, that increase is because, is because the, the, um, the South County Senior Center director is, is is going full time. They're closed. They're closed, but they're providing meal. They're providing meals every day, uh -huh. and, they're, and they're still doing outreach. <laughs> okay. See, this. I know you've been told that, Brian, and I believe you believe whoever told you that. Um, Fire. But nobody has got eyes on and there's no film at 11. So nobody over 70 is going out of the house. Which Nobody's is getting, <clears throat> which is why it's important for them to do outreach. Yeah. And we have no idea how, what the impact will be on things like gas, electric, janitorial, et cetera, how long they're going to be closed. We just have no idea. None. None. So, I, I just, does, does everybody feel comfortable with giving No, out? no, they're closed. No. So, no. do we have some suggestions as to- You're close to the public. Right. There isn't anything going on over there. I'm not comfortable with it, but I'm not comfortable assigning values yeah. to right. what they might be spending. Um, and they could open up. I don't. I don't know what state phase, whatever it is, opening up. Uh, this is this is starting in July. Remember. Yeah, I I think. Yeah, we, they may be open for now. Yeah, and nobody over seventy is going to go there because <clears throat> they're afraid. Yep. Well, I, I, don't, I don't know that. They're still going to be delivering meals, right? They provide meals. Yeah, they provide meals for every day through Life Path. I don't think we can quantify what is going on there, but I think we can certainly write a note to the director, make you know, asking for updates on what's actually being spent and what isn't over the course of the year, and what what impact. COVID has had and will have on their spending. That, that's true, but I think if you, I think if you take and really have a, refer to it as an outlook of the senior center, with this COVID, they're probably serving and sending out more meals now than they would have if they were coming to the place. That's not fine. Just let us know that. Not even close. Not even close. Uh, 
Where I also think it's a way for us to demonstrate that we want to hold her feet to the fire. For the big increase they want, yes. Well, just in general, just staying on top of them. Yeah. I just... But I just don't think we can speculate now just, what, what the numbers are going to be. It's just managed poorly. Okay, so um, do I have a suggestion as to what you feel comfortable with going forth? Um, I'm going to do it by person. Dan? I feel as though we should leave it alone for now because we don't know the full circumstance. Tommy? Leave it alone. Bob Feidenkevitz? I think we should level fund it until we find out more what's going on. Level fund. Jim? I have to agree with that because I, I just don't see the justification for uh, bringing this person on full time. Yeah. Fred? Leave it alone. This is what's nice about having six people. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I was going to say level fun, but we don't have, we don't have a majority. So, um, so Brian, is there some way that we can attach some kind of a asterisk to this thing? So if we do not get the right kind of documentation as to what they're doing, we can claw back. You can, you can amend the budget on town meeting floor if you want. Well, then we, I'm kind of in the, then we're kind of in the same place. So are you saying if you get an answer by then we could amend it at the town meeting floor? Why don't you split the difference? What if we go, I, I kind of, I'm kind of warming up to that. What if we do a 10% increase? Who's I, just don't think we've, I just don't think we've got enough information to know what they're going to need to, to assign some value to it. Well, you're absolutely right. Um, but in this case, when you look at that percent, don't look at the, dollar look at the percentage a 23 percent increase what other departments what other line items are at 23 percent increases well oh, I, I recognize that but we are we're talking the reason for that is the director going from part-time to full-time which uh, i would hope would not be done if it wasn't necessary to get the extra hours I don't know that it's our decision to make that she should only be part-time. No, it's not. Well, there has to be justification for a full-time job. You can't just hire somebody for five days if there's not the reality for it. Well, the, yes, and I would doubt that the director, I, whoever the directors of the senior center wouldn't have approved it if there wasn't a justification for it. Oh, boy, I wouldn't go that far. It shouldn't okay. have. I'm not saying wouldn't. It shouldn't have. Okay, I'm going to uh, I'm going to buckle at the knees, and I'm going to say that I'm going to I'm going to cave in to the uh, to that figure and uh, at, for the twenty three six seven zero. Yeah, I don't like the figure either, but we don't have any basis for another figure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. All right, can we move on? Do people want to continue to to beat this thing? Okay. No. no. Okay, on. then let's just move on here. Brian, you good? Yeah. Okay. Okay, where are we now? I'm sorry, I have to ask the question. The local council yeah. of aging, 180% increase. What was that for? Um, when they came That's in, our guys. When they That's came in the, back in March, um, most of that is out, uh, outreach that they wanted to do to the to the seniors. So Ruth. A, yeah, Ruth was here. The council on aging has been pretty inactive, and they 
had some plans to, to do some and, she, and she, I think she impressed us that she was the kind of person that was go, going to get things done and mm -hmm. try to bring back some legitimacy to uh, to that council on aging. So um, yeah, she was very enthusiastic about the program. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Um, okay, public health. Um, a lot you can do with it. Yeah, but the only the only one that's that really sticks you in the eye is that solid waste, and we know what that's all about. Yep. And that's all about the tipping fees going through the roof and where do you throw stuff. Um, that was my question when it, I said, is it cheaper to uh, throw the rubbish in the compactor and not recycle? And yeah. I, I believe Fran's answer was that even though we aren't getting a lot of money for the recyclables. Right. But I think the tipping, tipping fees for recyclables are a lot more than for rubbish. No, that's not true. No. Uh, we asked a friend about that when he came to the select board and it is still cheaper to recycle than it is to go to a landfill. And, landfill and even if it isn't higher. true, I don't think you could sell that to the town that we're just going to dump trash, not recycle it. Yeah, I think it's, that, that would be a tough one. I would guess that's probably what they're doing with it. They're not recycling it. They're dumping it in the trash. No. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tommy, Tommy didn't, the you, didn't you have some insight on this at, at, one, at one meeting? It's contaminated. Yeah. Uh, it's, I, my understanding is that you're, like the stuff that, let's say the bottles and cans, they go to the Murph down in Springfield, and you. We are now paying to dump. You're paying a tipping fee, but the tipping fee you're paying is nowhere near the tipping fee you're paying for trash, which is going to a landfill somewhere. That we was my to, question. Then we used to get paid. Okay for bottles and cans. Now it's costing us, but it's minimal. It's not a lot. It's not the same price as the rubbish. No, it is not. It's di that's different in some places. Some it, it, it is not for us. Yeah, some states that's different. Right. I don't really see any wiggle room here. No. No. no, no. Nothing you can do. All right, we're good with public health. Yeah. Okay. Public safety. Um, minimal increases. All these increases, the police is uh, those. That's a salary adjustment. So, yeah. uh, are we going to defund? Are we going to defund the police? No, they just signed a three-year contract with them. You're not oh. going to defund them. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to defund. Uh, Oh my God! Yeah, I, I'm not going it. Don't go no. there. Okay, don't go I'm there. Staying Move away. On. Staying away from that. Oh my goodness gracious! Okay, um, I don't see any changes here. Does it, 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 are we all in agreement? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Next, Brian. Let's go to PW. Okay. Um. Go ahead. Any, any thoughts? Same thing. All the, in, a lot of it's uh, salaries. Right. The 2%. Road machinery. You know. I'll, ta I'll take it. I'm not complaining about it. It's not. The, um, I, do, I do want. Uh, now, the coal is 2%. I get it. Um, but. The highway salary increase is 4.33%. How? There was an adjustment in Scorchy's and Douglas Scoville's pay. Uh, I believe he's the senior operator or something now, and he got like a 
dollar more an hour or something in addition to his 2%. Yeah. Okay. It was a salary adjustment. I believe that most of what you're seeing is that. I would have, I, I have nothing but positive things to say about um, the work that those guys do. Um, see it every day, see them every day. Um, there's always stuff going on. Um, as a finance committee, I think we have to look at um, yeah. increases like 4.33 in a salary line uh, and think about how many, how many occupations out there are getting a 4 to 5% increase um, in a given year. That, not, that we're, not that we're going to change it. I don't, I, I'm not recommending that at all. But I'm just saying, as a group, at some point, somebody's got to stick a line in the sand and say, if you look, it's, 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 so, so what's the increase? Well, our total increase for salaries this year uh, is over $14,000. In 10 years, that's 140 grand. Yeah, that's a personnel committee. I think that goes back to the personnel committee. There's no question. But if we have to, if, if, if we have to have oversight, which we do, oversight on the personnel committee, then that's where it comes in. Yeah, nobody and wants to be a bad person. No. Nobody wants to be the bad person. You're exactly oh, right. But if you think about, now that's just this year, it's going to produce $140,000 in 10 years. Then you got next year. Then you got, so we have to think about this long term. And when you look at, do we know? what how our town what is what's the makeup of our town in terms of seniors fixed income people and we we have to get and and, and the personnel committee has to get a better handle on that um because if we have a chunk of our residents tied to social security increases and we're throwing out four and five percent increases for salaries that's not going to work. Um, so um, that's a message I want to send to the personnel com committee that um, I don't, you know, I know that they look at different towns that are like us and, and whatnot. Well, maybe we should have towns looking at us and what we're doing for the people who pay taxes in our town. Right, and Paul, Paul, what are you saying? Especially with public works in particular, this year, Public Works keeps taking on more projects, and I'm thinking the water project in particular, yep. that the town was able to give an in-kind contribution towards its construction, saving the taxpayers actual dollars because the Public Works, Keith and his department are doing that work on their existing salaries. I know that. I, I got you, Fred. I think we have to recognize that. And I think maybe that I should be, I don't want to specifically zero in on the public works. What I want to zero in on is what is the impact of increases that stay in the budget on a long-term basis? And that's something that as a group, we're not going to change it now. Nothing's going to happen now. But next year, we take a hard look at that and project out what that means. Right now, we don't know what that means. We sit back and we say, yeah, okay, they're good guys. They're, they're doing this. They're doing that. Fantastic. In 10 years, what's that mean for the people that pay taxes in this town? That's my last point. I'll get off the soapbox. And um, I, don't see any, I, don't, I, I don't see where we can make any changes in here. Um, the, uh, the road machinery, um, that five grand, what was that? Was that the... Uh, What's, Brian, can you can you can you fill us in? I, well, Keith, Keith is here. I can inter I can interject on that. The yeah. five thousand dollar increase is the fact that I've already come back two times asking for more money because to maintain my trucks is I I'm spending I spent over twelve thousand dollars on one truck in the past year just to keep it on the road and um, going forward. I needed more money in my in my budget, 
And even asking $5,000, I'm only hoping that that'll make it. Um, and just as long as I got a minute and talking in regards to the, the highway salaries, one of the other, I had two adjustments. One employee, the senior operator, as, as Tom Maher mentioned, was looked at and was way behind incompatible and so he had an adjustment. The other employee that's getting an adjustment is been there three years and it's our policy. It's been a policy of the town for as long as I can remember. We, when we start an employee off, they start at a lower rate and then after three years, they get a, a small increase of a, I forgot how many cents per hour, but it's a small adjustment there. So there's two people that are getting adjustments in the highway salaries so that when you see the 4.33 percent that's not us getting a, a 4.3 you know that kind of increase we're we're just like every other employee getting only a two percent cola i um i thank you for that explanation and um <clears throat> it's all reasonable there's no doubt about it um but just to let you know Yes, it sounded like I was going after the highway sal salaries. I was using that as an example towards the salary increase that we have and how we as a group need to look at what the impact of those costs that never come out of the budget and how that, what picture that foretells for us taxpayers downstream. And it's not for this year, but I just hope it's something that we recall as we go on. So that's it. But thanks, Keith. Paul, and then, yeah. Can I add something, Paul? Sure. Because I, I think um, you're, you're right. We have to think about the long-term financial impact of the decisions that the personnel committee makes. Um, I completely agree with that, but that's not the only thing that the personnel committee has to consider. We have to consider our ability to get qualified people to work for the wages we're willing to offer. And the fact that, that you know, the prices go up and that salaries are going up, uh, we can also, we have to kind of balance that with losing uh, the good people that we have to neighboring towns of similar means who are offering a little bit more. And so I, I completely agree that, the, that both of those things really have to be considered. And, um, and I know your committee, the finance committee, really focuses on the financial impacts and the long-term impacts. Um, but we don't do ourselves any favors if we have to retrain uh, new people and become less efficient and less good at our jobs. But anyway, that's, that's just my two cents for you know, sticking up for the the folks that we think about on the personnel committee. See, Joyce, Keith is, as an analogy, we don't have a lot of people leaving because Keith is like Bill Belichick. He provides yeah, such right. an atmosphere of let's go out, get, get the job done that, well, you know, we're lucky to have him. So I agree with you, but, um, it's just as the finance committee and you look at doll dollars and cents that long-term views, um, if we can do that, I think would be, uh, would be a real plus to the voter, to the taxpayer. Okay. Are we done? Are we good? We're um, good. okay. We're good. There's no changes there. Um, insurance benefits. I mean, any thoughts? I doubt there's anything we can do there. No, but I agree. Next one. I think we're good there. Unclassifieds. Same thing. Same thing. Can't do um, anything with it. Yep. Yeah, very little increase uh, with yeah. except the educational incentives. Um, is that for the police? No. Um, The increase is because our treasurer collector has become certified and under state law, they're entitled to an educational incentive similar to what certified town clerks are. 
Gotcha. Okay. And I think there's a good chance that the fuel, the vehicle fuel number, they, they won't down. meet that because because price of gas is down. But I don't right. think we can cut it in advance. Right. Right. So, okay. Anybody have any issues? Can we move on? Move okay. On. Move okay. On. We're good. Okay, well, I mean, we have the schools who aren't going to open. Who aren't going to open, who drew back, and uh, with the exception of Franklin County Tech. You're going to come back here for more money. Franklin County Tech? No, schools. Well, they might. Uh, They're not going to open. It's going to cost a lot to open. Oh, I bet you they'll open. Yeah. I'm a... How much you want to bet? Well, I hope they open. How much you got? Mm. <laughs> you don't want to know. <laughs> Enough. I mean, school operations, the whole thing at 2.45, I mean, is, I think it's what's allowing us to come up with the kind of tax increase that, that we're trying yeah. to strive for. So I'm good. Anybody? I'm good. Okay. Good. Everybody's good. Brian, march on. That one's pretty easy. That one's easy. Move on. I don't know. You sure? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Total town operating budget. Oh, I took out the... Okay. So that's the number that's on the warrant? Uh, that's a number that will be. Okay. Five, two, five, one... Five million two hundred fifty-one thousand two hundred forty-five dollars and twenty-six cents for a total of a minus point one three percent increase. Um, let's vote on this. I'm going to go person by person. Dan Kennedy. Yes. Tom Maha. Yes. Bob Feidenkevitz. Okay. Jim Kirkendall. Yes. Fred Barron? Yes. Paul Lantea? Yes. Unanimous that that's the approval from the Finance Committee, 52512425262. Paul, all I would say is be prepared for a question about it may never happen, but that the reduction is an accounting trick by taking that fire truck debt out of the operating budget. Um, yes, it is, but we can... I mean, I, I, I think just, we can address Just be, be aware that it may come up. Yeah, I got you. Sure. Um, sure. Yeah. Um, fine. Okay. Um, where do we go from here, Brian? We can either talk about capital items and other... We can talk about capital items in the context of the warrant, or we can... Talk about them on a different sheet separately. Why don't we do it with, within the warrant? That way, well, we get that part of it done. We don't have to look at it again. Is okay? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we've already gone through them. <clears throat> well, we kind of have. So. So the town meeting is going to be outside. Yeah. Where? Elementary school in the side yard. Okay. Bring your lawn chairs. We got to bring our own chairs. Lawn chairs. Um, no, we'll have chairs. Yeah, Good. you don't have to, but if you want a comfy chair, you bring your own. Yeah. I'll bring my own. And so we're not going to have a screen. Correct. Uh, so. Do I have to draw? You have to talk. You have to mind it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, we can see that. I can see it. The Everybody first, good? Okay. The first yep. twelve articles are all stuff that we just covered. So let's 
Yep. Go right past them, go to 13. So those are all good? You approve all those? Yeah. Hold on. It's all, it's all. Go ahead. Hold on a minute. Tommy? Yeah. You're way ahead of us. Again, again. That's from no, all no. your preparation. Yeah, again. sure. My printer works. Oh. 23 pages? No, 27 pages. 27, I think. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, annual report. I'm just paraphrasing. Okay. Article two, vote to authorize town treasurer. Article three, see if town authorized select board to enter into contracts. Okay. Next four. Borrowing see if, money. Bank see if town authorized the town treasurer. Approve the select board to enter compensating balance agreements. Article five, see if the town will vote to apply for accept any federal, state, or private grant monies. Uh, article six, see if the town will vote to establish spending limits for the town's revolving funds. And here they are, they're in front of you. I don't think we need to read them down. Okay, um, are we good to that point? Yeah. Articles one through six. Yeah. Okay, article seven. See the town vote to fix salaries and compensation of elected officers for fiscal year July 1. Any questions? Don't Any issues? Okay, we're good. Seven. Eight. This is enterprise fund stuff. This is enterprise fund, so I think we just kind of rubber stamp that and go on. <clears throat> Are we good? Good. good? good. Okay. Keep going. Article 9, to act on the report of the Finance Committee. We already did that, so we're in back of that. And FinCom, here we have the uh, what we just discussed. Okay. The bottom number will be different, though. Yeah. Well, uh, how, how much different? Based on the changes we made. Oh, yeah, yeah, right, right. right. Than 54 cents. Okay, okay, right. Gotcha. All right. Um, article 10. Some free cash. Um, this says 200, I think. Aren't we doing going with 100? No. No. 100 is going into stabilization. Oh, I see. 100 is going into general stabilization. 200 tax levy. Right, 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 right. Okay, okay. I didn't read the whole thing. Are we all good with 10 and 11? Yep. Yes. yep. Okay. Next. Article 12. See the okay. time. We needed to, we transferred out $50,000 from capital stabilization, so we had money on the books to enter into the Williamsburg Road Bridge replacement contract with the contractor. Mass DOT has since given us another over two hundred thousand dollars, so we can return put that, that money. Very nice. Everybody's in back of that. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Proposed capital project appropriations. Okay. Uh, Twenty-one from. Okay, we will behind that for the police and fire. Yeah. Eight yep. grand. We're behind that. Article fifteen. Transfer twelve five. Driveway. The driveway, right. Article 16, 13750, that's for um, five inch hose um, for the fire department. 17, yep. 80 grand um, for the debt service on the fire truck. And as um, as Fred said, this 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 may raise you know a few questions, but is everybody wow. clear? Is everybody clear what we've done and how we've done this? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't have any problem with having done it. Just someone may point it out and ask why. And and they should, to be honest with you. Yep. If no one does, wow. Okay. No one does. It means it's probably threatening to rain. Yeah. Or this we completely put them to sleep. Okay. Uh, Transferring some of five grand from the water department enterprise fund. Uh, yeah, sure. Absolutely. Okay. Now here we have the highway department. Uh, 
This is the excavator. Is there any um, additional information on the uh, excavator, Brian? Yes. Um, okay. And keep you filling if he wants. Um, the water commissioners met this morning and voted that they did not want to contribute the $10,000 from the enterprise fund for the purchase of the excavator. Um, so what the plan will be is that, and that I talked with Keith this morning, is that um, he's willing to contribute the 45, the entire, um, it, it'll likely be under 45,000, but um, in chapter 90 funds. Currently there's a, there's a $300 million uh, transportation bond bill that's, I think it's passed the house and it's, um, and the Senate's taking it up. And that'll, I think Keith mentioned, correct me if I'm wrong, that'll give us an additional, um, somewhere in the ballpark of $70,000 more in chapter 90. Correct, a little over 70,000. So, so we get like 220 next year instead of the 150. So why did the water want to get contribute? So the story that I was told by George today was they are now looking at needing to upgrade the their pumps in regards to uh, supposedly around fifty thousand dollars to put a booster pumps in, and with that expense, they don't have that money available to contribute at this point in time. Talk about last hour. So yes, that's true. However, the way I'm looking at it now is, um, you know, that means that they will be in the position where if they need to hire a contractor, they are either going to have to do that, or I still have the feeling that if, if a water main breaks somewhere or, or one of the saddles and they have a water leak somewhere, they may still come to the town and say, will you help us out? And then we will have to charge the enterprise fund sort the of prevailing like wage, the prevailing yeah. wage, right? Well, again, that's their pay. They would have to pay the prevailing wage to have a contractor come in and do it. And, and I guess they're aware of that, but so at the moment they don't have any, they won't have any equipment to do the repairs themselves. Oh, so please. they either have to hire us, the town or hire a outside contractor. Okay. So, but you, you feel confident that you can cover this thing? Yes, at this point in time, breaking it out, especially over, over five years. And, you know, as time goes on, you know, if, if the town budgets improve before the end of the, the term and the town can contribute some of it, that's great too. Um, but knowing what I'm up against with projects, number one, and the biggest thing is meeting OSHA requirements for working with setting the trench boxes and, and precast structures, the machinery that I need, I, I can't really operate without it. Yep, okay. So um, article, both of these articles um, have, have the potential to, to be questioned on town floor by, vote, by the voters. So I know you're gonna be there and just get ready. Just, you know. No, that's that's fair. Yep, I expect that. Okay. Right. Anybody have any questions on the two articles um, for the highway department? No. For Keith while he's here or any issues on that? Okay, so we're good with both of those. Um, 19 and 20. Does anybody want to ask any questions about the chipper that they didn't ask two days ago. No, Tommy, you, you weren't here, so. No, I already, I know all about it, so. Okay. All right, see if the town, article 21, see if the town vote transfer a sum of 12 grand, free cash, pay for your payment, at least purchase for the wood chipper. Okay, I think we're good. I think yep. we beat that, we beat that up. And we have the Frontier Regional School District capital appropriation, you know. I think for five grand, it was it's uh, money well spent. Any questions? Any thoughts? Anybody? Okay. All right. I, I like to note for myself. Yep. To ask Darius a question. 
What? The highlighted E and D is a note for me to ask Darius a question tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh. Frontier. I thought they had a, I thought they had submitted a request that the town approve some of their E and D expenditures, but he hasn't gotten back to me yet. What are those? Um, what are those? Oh, it it would be more capital items, of course, from their voluminous. They're not going to open. They're not going to open. <laughs> they are not going to open. They're going to open. Okay, hey Paul, is it okay for me to interject something here? Joyce, Joyce has got a question. I under I understand when people say they're not going to open. But that's not the same thing as the teachers are not also required to educate the children by distance oh, learning. Boy. And as really an educator, good. as an educator myself, I know my employer is spending more than they have in the past to try and accomplish the distance education. So every time somebody says the schools aren't going to open, it's not the same thing as the schools are closed and everybody's on vacation. It the means is, people are operating is, in, on, in on, trying circumstances, and and I I just I just feel like somebody has to say to this group that a place being closed doesn't mean their budget is zero. Okay, they're actually trying to do their jobs. They're trying to do the best they can under really awkward circumstances that they don't control and we don't control. Okay. Okay, so you really sound very tone deaf when you say they're going to be closed, but they're still expected to do all their jobs with their hands tied behind their back. Okay? I, under Enough I understand that, but I want to know who's monitoring the staff and what they're doing. And I don't think anybody can answer that. Okay, well, well then I say that, know. please. Say that for heaven's sakes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Say that, and don't just say they're closed like they're a bunch of oh, lazy ass people not they're doing not anything. Open. They're not okay. Open. Okay. All right. Just be really clear because you really sound like you're completely tone deaf about what's going on in our and education also, system. Also, okay. Here's another question. Now they open, and one third of the kids don't want to go. Who's responsible for their education? Well, we don't know that yet. No kidding. I mean, let's. I, mean, with, oh, with, I know that you, you you're kind of crystal ball in it. So, I mean, I don't think that's what we're here for. And well, let's just look at this budget. And I understand about the issues about not opening the school and what does that mean to the bottom line downstream. No one knows at this point, but everybody's aware of it. And as far as the educational component. I know firsthand. I know my wife spends more time on this computer than she has ever in the past, and it's constant. Uh, either it's either it's meetings from, um, you know, the different um, uh, the kids in her class to um, to group meetings with the kids in his class to the uh, um, you know, the faculty meetings, meetings with Darius. Uh, it's let me tell you, it's, it almost looks like more work on the computer than it does driving to school. But that aside, I understand the issues, and I think we all understand the issues. Should they not open? What does that happen? What does that mean with the costs to the physical plant, not the salaries? Okay. Okay, I hope I put a little water on that fire, but... Um, and uh, it was a good discussion, and I think it's one that needs to be uh, surfaced again. All right, um, Article 23, Community Preservation Act. Um, not ours. We're not taking any position. We don't really We're not taking we don't, any action. We, we, we take no action. Them. Right. Um, oh, well. Okay, 24, 25, 20. Oh, I, I, just to be clear, I'm not going to write anything underneath there. Right. Correct. Okay. Correct. Wow. And if the question comes up, the town floor as to why, I'll be more than happy to explain that. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, can we go back just just uh, a, a couple? Yeah. Br Brian, I, there was one. I just want to make sure we're all 
on board. Hang on. Um, open space. The, the open space. Um, this one? Yeah, but it's, I, I mean, it's still community preservation, but just, uh, okay. Okay. I'm fine. Let's just go through the CPCs and let's get on with it. No, I'm good. You're going the wrong way now. Okay. Oh, you, you just want to get past them, all right? Yeah. These are allowing people to work past um, 65 as firefighters. William Smith, Gary Stone. Um, I'm waiting. Article 31. I'm waiting for language from town council that would that would permit the the town to seek authorization to, um, at the time we needed to, to dissolve the Whateley Water District and effectuate the merger. Okay. Um, let me get, let me just roll back for a second regarding allowance of um, individuals. Could you go back one? Okay. Okay. We're on it right now. Uh, uh, of any general law. So, what we're saying here is, could you clarify that for, uh, could you clarify Article 30 for us? Yep. Um, so for, for fire and police, once you reach the age of 65, you need an act of special legislation um, to continue on until the mandatory age of 70. Okay. I know we did that for... Um, Kennedy. Kennedy. Yeah. John Hannum. There's right. been a there. Yeah, there's John Hannum, Pete Hannum. Yeah. Um, what does that do? <clears throat> staying past 65, is there any burden on the town other than salary? I don't believe so, no. Okay. I'll double, I'll double check and let you know, but I don't think so. I would really like to know that, um, that if it, if it's just a salary issue versus is it salary and there is some um, impact on any kind of uh, retirement benefit that we would have to pay no, these individuals. I don't believe it does. Okay. We've been through this before. I I'm sure we have. Um, but I'm only a part-timer, so I don't remember everything. So a couple of things, but okay. And then the rest of these are bylaws. Okay. Good. I don't know if you want to go through them or not. No, I, I don't, I don't think we have to get involved with that. Um, okay. So, um, I think this is a general vote. Um, for everything that we've seen tonight, both, both uh, the budgets as well as any of the articles that we're involved with. And does anyone have any thoughts or issues um, or would like to make a statement regarding any of the above? Okay. I'll take that as a no. Let, let's do a general vote. Do I have a motion to accept the warrant. Make a motion to accept the warrant. Second. All those in favor? I'll, aye, go, aye. I'll go one by one. Dan Kennedy. In favor. Tom Maha. Aye. Tom Fine Kevitz. It's fine. Jim Kirkendall. Aye. Fred Barron. Aye. Paul Antea. Yes. Okay. So there we have it. Um, Brian, do you have anything, um, any parting words, parting gifts, any, any, um, June 23rd, six o'clock. So there's rain dates. Those are listed right there. Okay. We'll make decisions by three o'clock and we'll put out robocall. We'll put it on the website. Mm -hmm. I'll send out emails. Look um, out the how 
Yeah. Are we gonna Are we gonna have our own table like we've had in the past, or how's that gonna work? Um, everybody will be sitting at least six feet apart. Okay. Um, masks? Will we have to have masks? That's funny. Fran Fortino just sent out the town meeting public health guidance, and I haven't had a chance to see it. Uh, I think the answer would be yes, unless you're speaking. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, does everybody plan on attending? Anyone who knows now that they will not be there? Who knows? That's two weeks away. Well, I just said if, if Look you at knew, the you knew. Look at the days when they're... Yeah, well, okay. If you're sick, please don't come. Yes. Absolutely. Um, okay, well, that does it. That's a wrap for 2021. And I want to thank everybody for all your thank personal Thank you, Paul. Time. Thank you. And it's been, uh, it's been fun, and hopefully uh, maybe we can have a beer uh, after the town meeting. Just bring it. Yeah, just yeah. bring it. Bring beer. <laughs> I'll the bring a cooler. The board, right, of health be, the board of Health will be on you like you wouldn't believe. Yeah. <laughs> for what? I don't think <laughs> they have a drink in here a lot. Yeah. Uh, who knows? You, it's all hey, about maybe, drinking now. Maybe th there'll be a vaccine before that. That's, wait, knows? that's why Bobby has the camera off. It's yeah. all about outdoor drinking. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right, guys. Okay. Thank you.